I'm going to be unboxing my unboxing my basin bees that I got in the mail. Um, the first time I did it, I didn't know what I I didn't know what to do. I should what I should have done what like I did with this one. I put it in the fr refrigerator first because you don't know you don't know if there's any mason bees inside that are hatched. So for, so the first thing I did it was put it in the refrigerator. Um, I'm gonna be really opening it up and releasing it. I'm putting it into my mason bee pouch that I made. And you want to be careful when you open this up because you might, because there might be other already mason bees coming, uh, walking around. So it's best to do this outside, like, and very carefully to pull it out and check, see if there's any mason bees. Oh, if there's not to be. Great. If you get a mason bees, make sure they have a cooler inside. And if that cooler is inside, um, I if to get the package open, I think it would be best if you get used scissors. But right now I'm gonna just pull it. Oh, there's some undead bee. Dead bee casualty. Two bees. One, two. That'd be three in total. Four. And this is cold, so I get... This is cold. First time it was warm, it was barely any. So this might happen where if there's like four Uyghis dead already. So I'm gonna take the. I am going to not take the tape off because then I don't have to worry about them spreading, them falling out. I'm gonna put them in here. And they're now snugly in there. And yeah. You can go onto my website and to see how you can make one, like, to make e Mason B bird house. I mean Mason B house. I will have I'll have a step by step how to make this one. And that's all.